Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tanya. I'm also known as Dr. Cutris. I'm here to talk to you about contraception. Now let's talk about the most common and most frequently abused contraceptive method. We're talking about emergency contraceptive pills. Now everybody has used it once or twice in their lifetimes. And what we have to remember is that they're okay to use only in an emergency. You should not be having them too frequently. And the reason behind that is that they are not a very good method of contraception. A very good study has shown that people who regularly rely on emergency contraception as their regular contraception, they have a 20 to 35% chance of getting pregnant. That's a very high chance. So 35 out of 100 people who are on emergency contraception will get pregnant if they use that emergency contraception as their regular contraception. Not a good idea, basically. <laughs> Aside from this, there are no long-term effects associated with the use of emergency contraception. So no, it will not cause infertility. But yes, it will disrupt your cycles. It can disrupt your cycles to such an extent that you never know when your actual cycle is coming or when the cycle induced from your pills is coming. So my recommendation is please don't abuse the emergency contraceptive pills. There can be lots of side effects like firstly irregular bleeding, secondly dizziness, breast pain, nausea, feeling faint. And that's why it's best to find a regular method of contraception that can be used. Now, of course, if you have used them once or twice in an actual emergency, it's fine. They're meant for an emergency use, so don't hesitate in using them for a real emergency. Now, a lot of people do think that, you know what, I had unprotected sex today. Let me have uh, an emergency contraceptive pill and then tomorrow I can have unprotected sex again because I had the pill today. Now the thing to remember here is that this is not how the pills work. The emergency contraceptive pill only works for one instance of unprotected sex. So if you've had it today, it's only for the sex you had in the past 72 hours. Some newer generations can even cover the past 5 days, but it's usually the past 3 days. So it's best to use them wisely and save them for an emergency. Now with emergency pills, it's important to remember that they only prevent a pregnancy from happening. They will not abort an already existing pregnancy. So it's not an abortion. I hope you found this useful and I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. If you do have more questions, please drop them down in the comments box below and I will try and answer them for you. Choose your contraception wisely. This is Dr. Tanea, aka Dr. Cutrus signing off. See you.